We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. In this ceremony today, we will witness the joining of Ryan and Megan and marriage. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationship. No ceremony can create your marriage, only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as husband and wife. Ryan, do you take Megan to be your wife? I do. Good answer. <laughs> do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. And Megan, do you take Ryan to be your husband? I do. Do you promise love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore? I do. Ryan, you're gonna repeat after me. I, Ryan, take you, Megan, to be my wife. I, Ryan, take you, Megan, to be my wife. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I've given you my hand to hold, as I've given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. Megan, you repeat after me. I, Megan, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. I, Megan, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And I'll love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh at you and cry with you. I will laugh at you and cry with you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I've given you my hand to hold. As I've given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. Ryan and Megan, I would ask that you always treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together today. Give the highest priority to the tenderness and gentleness that your marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty assail your marriage, as they do in every relationship at one time or another, focus on what still seems right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. This way, when clouds of trouble hide the sun in your lives and you lose sight of it just for a moment, you can remember that the sun is still there. And if each of you will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and happiness. The wedding ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end, no giver and no receiver, for each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken. Who has the rings? <laughs> All right.
And you can place it on her ring finger and repeat after me. I, Ryan, take you, Megan, to be my wife. I, Ryan, take you, Megan, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Repeat after me. I, Megan, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. I, Megan, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or richer. For richer <laughs> or richer. <laughs> in joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you as my husband. Take you as my husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Today, this relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand that all these pretty girls are blocking. <laughs> One representing you, Ryan, the other representing you, Megan, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. We even have a third one for our ring security, Parker. As the three individual containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist but will be joined together as one. It will take trust to know that in your heart you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you both have pledged to today. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. 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 Woo! Good job, Parker. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan and Megan. And when I met Ryan for the first time, I knew exactly what she meant. Because honestly, Ryan, you are a good man. You know, she, she definitely deserves someone like you. And I just want to say thank you for treating her the way that you do and making her so happy. You know, knowing her for as long as I have, you couldn't have picked a better woman to spend the rest of your life with. Megan is the most loving, caring and selfless person that I know. And when she met you and she, you know, opened up her arms to both you and Parker and just seeing the three of you together, I can't help but envision and I know for a fact that you guys are going to make a beautiful and happy family for the rest of your lives. And I can't wait to witness that and see that. So again, sorry, I can't be there, but I just wanted to, you know, say congratulations. And Ryan, thank you so much for being a part of my friend's life and treating her with so much respect. When Ryan went on his first date with you, he sent a picture of himself to a group chat of us bunch of guys. We're like, who is this girl? What's her name? All this. And all he did was he sent a big selfie of his face right before he got in the car. And I've never seen a smile like that on him, on him before. Aww. So I knew he was genuinely happy about to meet you and get to know you. So, and after we all got to know you, we knew instantly that you fit in well and we fit in with your friends. And I'm just glad that we all pulled enough cash together to keep you around. <laughs> so, it was close. 
Um, Ryan, we've been friends for a while now, probably longer than you, people should live together. We've lived together a long time. Um, I've seen you grow as a man and a father. Uh, you've become such a great father to Parker that I've used you actually as a role model with my kids. Um, I do hope that Parker is aware that Uncle Scott or Uncle Sunshine is going to continue to remind him of your college days and finer moments as he gets older. <laughs> so It's an honor to be your best man today. I love you. Um, I hope Megan understands the bromance that all of us guys have with each other. Uh, when you end a phone call, FaceTime, something with I love you, and you hear it from the other room, don't worry, it's just one of us. It's just how we say we love you. Um, you guys survived uh, COVID quarantine together, which is the true test. That is the ultimate test, so I, you guys will be fine. Not worried about it. Um, so a famous aviation quote, which I have grown to love, which fits in perfect with you guys, I thought of you guys immediately, is, if you give a pilot a mile of pavement and just a car, he can only go a mile. But if you give a pilot an airplane and a mile of pavement, the sky's the limit. So you guys have a mile of pavement ahead of you and an airplane, and the sky is the limit for you guys. So I know everyone here is excited to see where you guys go and what you guys do, and I know you guys will be great at it. So um, congratulations, buddy. Um, I can't say enough, I love you. Everyone raise your glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Dean.